Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome to my Garen God. This is part two. Last time you guys said my guy wasn't really that good, so it wasn't good for ranked, but you know, it was fun for normals. Here I am, ranked. Oh, look at that awesome game name. But I'm going to show you and explain all the abilities. So first, I like to take my tank masteries. Here they are. I like to go for a cooldown reduction, because that's really helpful. Um, buy that, which helps out for uh, exhaust stuff. Sometimes use it, sometimes don't. I just like having that. And then these. Uh, usually this is really good in Garen as it helps all the stats. This is always great. This really is nice because you go in and you initiate mostly. This usually helps the top. And uh, yeah, tenacity is good. This resistance slow is good. This health is really good. You don't really need this as your passive does that for you. Alright, so here we go. We're about to start. There's my awesome skin. And uh, when we get in game, I'll explain the abilities. I quickly forgot to do the room page. So the room page I like to use is usually my AD carry room page. Um, I like to throw in a bit of creative quintessence of armor. It really helps me out. These you could change however you wish. Usually, oh, I didn't even complete it. Well, that's a bit of fail on my part. I should complete that soon. But usually this room page I like to have is my attack damage, greater ruins. I like to throw in some arm penetration too. You know, just get some true damage early on. I like to go for the attack damage quints, you know, helps you for last hitting. Of course, go right, greater seal of armor all through, gotta finish that up. And then go for the greater seal, glyph of sealing, scaling, magic just, wow, I cannot talk today. And then, yeah, so these quest nests are pretty good, and here's what it is. So welcome to the game, usually the E, I like to go first, what the E does, you spin around, and um, you go through minions. You do move slower, but you can move through units, so that's really helpful. Uh, you deal damage to everyone around you, and um, it deals less damage to minions, but if it did, it'd be OP. Also, it critically strikes, which is awesome. Welcome and just look at that. That is amazing. You're like a Beyblade. But uh, usually for Garen, you usually go top lane. And I like to start off with uh, cloth armor. Because look at that armor right there. And uh, five health pots. But right now I am facing oh, my friend Old Greg. Give him some credit right there. He's gonna be brand, so this is gonna be a bit different. Never go Garen mid. Trust me, don't do it. But I'm just gonna go mid because it's one v one right now, and you know, explain the guide. I'm back when I level up. So as usual, as usual, you go for the last hits. You know, just wait a bit, hit them. Um, right now we're just playing passively, but usually you won't be facing the AP carry because you'll get demolished as Garen because Garen's kited easily as he's a pure melee champion only. And he has no gap closer other than his Q, which I'll explain later. So here we are, just last hit the minions as usual. Oh, I missed that one. That's depressing. Uh, usually your E is your main farming tool, but that is much later in the game. Uh, yep. And that's usually after like level 5, 6 ish. So, what your Q does, I like level 2nd. So, any slows on you, you break free of, you gain 35 movement speed, and your next base attack silences the enemy and deals about 130 damage at level 1. Or level 2, actually. So, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll sh give you a little demonstration right here. Here I am. And you run faster. You could combine the running with Beyblade and you're OP. That's why it's called Spin to Win. Uh, right now the frame's dropping, but that is awkward. Um, so here, level 3, I usually like to get my W, so watch my armor. 66 and 40. Uh, actually, 65 and 39. Ready? W and BAM. 78 and 47. So passively, your W increases your bonus magic armor and... Um, Actually, yeah, just magic resist and armor by 20%. And use it, you reduce 30% incoming damage and 30% crowd control damage. Really cool, because once you get really high levels, like, you pretty much are invincible. Unless they deal true damage or they go through your armor. But, uh, yeah. Just pass the farm up, and I'll be back when I get my ult. So once you got your ultimate, here it is. Um, you call upon the Mighty Demacia to execute an enemy. It deals 170 match damage. Plus, one damage for every 3.5 health the enemy is missing. So, right now, I'm gonna have Mr. Old Greg demonstrate. So, usually, your wombo combo of Epicosti, you throw on a shield, you run after them, you sound them, you spin, 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 and right before they die, you're gonna go Hua! and go bomb. Um, usually, I like to ignite after this, I'm gonna let him live, but uh, yeah, that's ignite for that, plus your ult, that deals about like 2 million damage. It's insta kill. I'll show you some uh, wombo combos ready. later. So now that you've reached about level 7, your E just gets you farm all day. So what you do is stand in the middle of a minion lane, and there you go. You spin to win, you get all the farm. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, deals a lot of damage. And now, that's level 4. You want to max your Q next, so E first, Q next. 
as E is your pretty much damage dealer, it also AoE, so really early on, if you get fed, you are detrimental to the enemy team. There you go, sometimes like the farm with the Q, as he has gloriously no mana, which is pretty amazing. Alright, so here we go, the Garen Wombo combo. I told my friend old Greg to fight back, and this is gonna be pretty intense. Alright, three, two, one, let's go in. Alright. So you usually like to go with your Q first, throw on shield being owned. Um, don't run away though. So he's probably gonna cut you. Ready? You look like you're gonna lose a battle. Oh, but Q, that, that, halt! And they start running away, and they're dead. The Wombo combo on Garen is OP, and pretty much no chance he can kill you. Um, then, yep, yeah, max your EO, and. Arm. What I like the passive a lot because at later levels your passive is really helpful. What it does, it heals you by 0.5% of your max health each second. And when um hit mi bleh, messed up man. If minions hit you, it does not cancel it. It used to, which was really annoying. But now um, it only cancels if champion hits you. So that's really good. You can just stay back behind your minions, dodge pretty much all attacks, and your health will just go up. And the more health you have, the more health you get back. So, Warmog is a really viable option on Garen. Thanks for watching my ability sequence. Next up, I'm gonna explain the items. So here is my Garen build. These are the items I usually like to buy for Garen, and they always work out. And they're all situational. Sometimes if you don't want Ninja Savvy because um, the mage people, AP people, let's just call them AP people, are owning, well, you just build Merc Treads and that'll be good. But usually I like to start cloth armor and five health pots if you're against an AD top laner. If you're against like Singe or something, a null magic mantle really does counter him and ruins his day. Or just get boots P3 pots up to you. Then I like go ninja savvy or mercury tread. Once again, depends on what you want. Uh, first item, straight up warmogs. You could just be the most OP champion with only a giant spelt. Warmog just makes you even more OP. That's really the next item. Next one is Atmos Impaler. I really like this item. It gives you pretty much 80 attack damage free at the end of this game, plus also awesome armor. And yeah, I really like that item. It's pretty good. Spirit of Dodge, it really helps out your passive as um, it t makes it better by 20%. Who doesn't want that? Like, literally, after a while, you just see plus 33, plus 33 all the way through. And after team fight, you just run around farming a bit and you're already full health. Don't even have to go B. It's actually faster. And then um, I like to buy the Rainian's Omen or a Mild Matorius, once again, who's owning. If you get owned by AD, go uh, Rainian's Omen, get owned by AP, or if it's Karthus, I like to get an early Hex Drinker and finish off Mild Matorius later. So yeah, once you do that, it'll be all good. Your Mambo combo would be awesome. Also, since you are Garen, you like to initiate team fights. Your W, the way this build is set, is it will make you 100% reduced damage. Enemy does not have any armor penetration or magic penetration, they cannot hurt you. Turts do barely any damage, and I like tanking most turts with the team with this. Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you see you better, Garen. If you see me in game, say, Sup, Tony.